Well, it seems like this is an annual stop for the MMA leader as we are back and now underway with live action from United Center in the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. That's a big strike right there. Wow! Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Right, well, his hooks have been a big storyline in this one, and there it is again. So just when you thought maybe the... All right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedowns. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person... Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's getting lit up right now. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You could tell by his eyes. He's taking hits. He's sneaking looks at where he sees his opponent to be in order to land that shot. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, that uppercut landed for him. Oh, big See if he can advance position. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Diaz has got full mount now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, Diaz has got the full mount. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, this is where you don't want to be there. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. All right, round two. He loaded up the right hand, too. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. That punch no good. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. A sneaky body kick lands on the elbow. Nice combination of kicks there by Diaz. That one's not good. Nice strike. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Punch coming and blocked. Big right hand there.
Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, nice. Nice. Swing and a big miss by Diaz. The left punch is through, now the right oh, hand. Sir. He's got him hurt here. That shot blocked by Diaz. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice punch lands over the top. Diaz's lower jaw now starts to show signs of swelling. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. Oh, what a shot to the body. He's trying to keep the poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Trying to stay in this fight. Try to establish that jab. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Good jab. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Transition to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's got armbar. Oh, now. and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there, just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch. All right, last round. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. So a massive TKO win for him here tonight. He put it all together, near perfect execution, and he gets one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at 52 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO.